Suppose you want to know the difference in salaries paid to accountants versus financial analysts. So you get a sample of 12 accountants and ask them for their salary information. In looking at these 12 observations, you find that the average salary is $48,000. You then find a sample of 8 financial analysts and ask them for their salary information. They give you these numbers and you calculate an average of $53,000 for the 8 financial analysts. So you can now compare these two averages and you see the average for the accountants is $48,092. The average for the financial analysts is $53,238. Therefore, you conclude that on average, the financial analysts are paid $5,146 more than the accountants. And this seems straightforward, except it's incorrect. The fact is, you haven't looked at all financial analysts and all accountants. You only looked at a sample. The most that we can say is that the eight financial analysts we examined earned, on average, about $5,000 more than the 12 accountants that we surveyed. To make a statement about the average pay of all accountants and all financial analysts, would require us collecting data from every single financial analyst and every single accountant. And of course, this is going to be very expensive, if not impossible. Alternatively, we could take the sample of 12 accountants and 8 financial analysts that we have and construct a confidence interval based on the information we're observing in our small samples. A confidence interval is the sample measure plus or minus the standard error of the measure multiplied by some critical value. In this case, the sample measure is the difference we observed in these two sample averages. For the accountants, we observed an average of $48,000. For the financial analysts, we observed an average of $53,000, and the difference is $5,146. This is our sample measure. The standard error of a difference in sample means is the square root of the standard deviation of one of the samples squared divided by the number of observations in that sample plus the standard deviation of the observations in the other sample squared divided by the number of observations in that sample. In this case, the standard deviation of the salaries of our accountants is $4,935. The standard deviation of the salaries of our financial analysts lists are $5,220. We have 12 observations for the accountants and 8 observations for the financial analysts. Putting all of this together into our equation gives us a standard error of the difference in the sample means of $2,331. This is the standard error of the sample measure. Finally, our critical value depends on the degree of confidence we want. Suppose we want 95% confidence. Differences in sample means are t distributed, with degrees of freedom approximately equal to the number of observations in one sample plus the number of observations in the other sample minus 2. So we look at a t distribution, in this case with 18 degrees of freedom, and we cut this distribution so that we have a 95% area in the center. This corresponds to our 95% confidence interval. And we ask the question, what are the numbers that separate this t distribution in this fashion? These numbers are our critical values, in this case, plus or minus 2.101. So 2.101 is our critical value. We now have a sample measure, the difference in the observed means of 5,146, a standard error of the difference in means of 2,331, and our critical value of 2.101. Putting all of this together gives us a confidence interval on the low end of $249 and on the high end of $10,043. So we can make two statements here. The first statement is, when we looked at our sample of 12 accountants and 8 financial analysts, we observed that these 8 financial analysts earned, on average, $5,146 more than these 12 accountants. The other statement we can make is we don't know the average salaries of all accountants or the average salaries of all financial analysts. However, based on what we observed in our samples, we're 95% certain that the average salary for all financial analysts is between $249 and $10,043 greater than the average salary for all accountants.